We offer viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you and may God bless you. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirits. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Brothers and sisters, let us call to mind our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. And may Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Amen.
And let us pray. O God, who have prepared for those who love you good things which no eye can see, fill our hearts, we pray, with the warmth of your love, so that loving you in all things and above all things, we may attain your promises which surpass every human desire through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. Thus says the Lord, observe what is right, do what is just, for my salvation is about to come, my justice about to be revealed. The foreigners who join themselves to the Lord, ministering to him, loving the name of the Lord and becoming his servants, all who keep the Sabbath free from profanation and hold to my covenant, them I will bring to my holy mountain and make joyful in my house of prayer. Their burnt offerings and sacrifices will be acceptable on my altar, for my house shall be called a house of prayer for all peoples. The word of the Lord. Thanks.
a reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brothers and sisters, I am speaking to you Gentiles, inasmuch as I am the apostle of the Gentiles. I glory in my ministry in order to make my race jealous, and thus save some of them. For if their rejection is the reconciliation of the world, what will their acceptance be but life from the dead? For the gifts of the call of God are irrevocable. Just as you once disobeyed God, but now have received mercy because of their disobedience, so they now have disobeyed in order that, by virtue of the mercy shown to you, they too may now receive mercy. For God delivered all to disobedience, that he might have mercy upon all. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, Lord. Lord. At that time, Jesus withdrew to the region of Tyre and Sidon. And behold, a Canaanite woman of that district came and called out, Have pity on me, Lord, son of David. My daughter is tormented by a demon. But Jesus did not say a word in answer to her. Jesus' disciples came and asked him, Send her away, for she keeps calling out after us. He said in reply, I was sent only to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. But the woman came and did Jesus homage, saying, Lord, help me. He said in reply, It is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She said, Please, Lord, for even the dogs eat the scraps that fall from the table of their masters. Then Jesus said to her in reply, O oh, woman, great is your faith. Let it be done for you as you wish. And the woman's daughter was healed from that hour. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. Christ. That's a tough Gospel reading. It is easy to be offended by Jesus here because he treats this woman in need a lot more harshly than most who seek him out in other parts of the gospel. So today is just going to be a little short lesson on understanding the past. When we read things like this, we need to avoid the two obvious extremes. One the Bible is, exclusion, is exclusionary and only God's pre-selected people will be saved. Obviously, we know that's not true. The other extreme is just assuming that Jesus was in a bad mood and ignoring the importance of God being known within Jewish culture and tradition. The other extreme is just not taking Jesus seriously. 
It is our job as modern believers to understand why this is a part of sacred scripture. From the most ancient pages of the Old Testament, all people from pagan cultures could partake in the salvation offered by God, the God of Abraham. But in order to do that, they had to join an Israelite family. You had to convert, as we would say today. But the door was certainly open to any who desired it. Go ahead and look up Exodus chapter 12 for an early example of how that would work. At the time of Jesus, this thinking was still very much alive and well. For instance, intermarriage was frowned upon where one partner was Jewish and the other was not. But even so, Israel is the light of the nations, and the Gentiles are called to approach the God of Israel through Israel. The most beautiful analogy out there, it's like a branch grafted onto a tree. It's not any less of the branch, but now it has become a part of a greater life. So like so many other parts of reality, Avoid the temptation of jumping to extreme conclusions. God in the Bible is neither cruelly exclusive nor cheaply universal. Rather, he calls all people to his side through the story of salvation that is the Old Testament followed by the New Testament. And like the woman in the gospel, most of us are Gentile disciples of Christ. That is to say, we don't have any real Jewish history in our family. For those of us in that category, we experience God through Jesus as representative of the Jewish people, as well as our divine Redeemer, of course. Our faith's ultimate roots are, in fact, Jewish. And through Jesus Christ, we have been grafted onto that olive tree that is God's people. I believe in God, the Father Father Almighty, Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day, he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God, the Father Almighty. From there, he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and in life everlasting. Amen. And brothers and sisters, as we continue to sanctify our Sunday in preparation for the liturgy of the Eucharist, we offer our general intercessions. For the church, that we may always reach out to those who have been slighted, alienated, or rejected, so that all may feel welcome in the church we call home. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all leaders. May our Lord pour out upon them the spirit of his wisdom that they may decide everything for the well-being and peace of all. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For students, as they conclude their summer vacations and resume their studies, may they grow in their love of knowledge and wisdom. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For those who suffer from chronic illness, for their caregivers and loved ones, especially among our Heart of the Nation parish family, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our brothers and sisters who have been called from this world into eternal life, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the needs and prayers of all of our Heart of the Nation parish members, including those joining us from the states of Connecticut and Mississippi, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. O Lord, we offer up all these prayers. Lord, your entire flock, 
is a congregation of broken, flawed people seeking you in their lives. Hear these our prayers and bring us all to the kingdom of salvation where you live and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the grace of the Lord and for our unbelievable fall of the church. Receive our oblation, O Lord, by which is brought about a glorious exchange, that by offering what you have given, we may merit to receive your very self through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. And let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so loved the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to those gifts of yours that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give you thanks as an exaltation we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, in giving thanks broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world. And bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Jerome, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Forever and ever. And at the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And let us offer one another a sign of that peace, especially those viewing at home this morning. Peace. Oh
Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. And let us pray. Made partakers of Christ through these sacraments, we humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that conformed to his image on earth, we may merit also to be his co-heirs in heaven who live and reign with, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirits. May almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. This Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thanks, Thanks. 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 God. For viewers a free subscription to the Prayer and Worship Guide, which contains the TV Mass prayers, the scripture readings, as well as special seasonal prayers and reflections on the weekday Mass readings. For your free copy, call toll-free 1-855-855-MASS. So that's 1-855-855-6277. Or write to Heart of the Nation, P.O. Box 14428, Milwaukee, Wisconsin 53214. To order online, visit heartofthenation.org. 
Your privacy is important to us, and we will not share your name or contact information with any other organization. If you're watching on YouTube, be sure to subscribe to Heart of the Nation channel. Just click below. Please remember to send in your gift to help support the Heart of the Nation Sunday Mass. Thank you, and may God bless you.